Hi guys and welcome back and welcome to the first video of my styling series on here. So I'm going to be starting a new series as I said which is going to be styling. So there's going to be loads of different things that I'm going to be showing you and today's video as you can see from the title is your capsule wardrobe for autumn and this is going to be all your staples, all your timeless pieces that you can style in so many different ways. So these pieces you might already have in your wardrobe and it might just give you some inspo on ways you can wear them and just give them some new love because I've found recently Recently, that I've been kind of purchasing if you have seen my latest hauls pieces that I know are timeless and staples that I can match with loads of different outfits and I think this is key when you sort of invest in pieces and when I say invest it doesn't mean you have to have like a really high price point but I do find something like in Zara for instance the blazers are really good quality pieces like that that you know you can wear year on year and the pieces on this rail here that I'm going to be talking you through are some from last year some are new so it's kind of a mix so I think this is a good way Way to kind of show you how to put a wardrobe together and just kind of invest in pieces that you actually need and that you're going to wear over and over again. So with the new season in full swing now, it is definitely dropped in temperature here in the UK. I feel like it said like the last day of summer and then the day after it, it was like, boom, this is autumn, it's cold. I've been going out recently with like midi dresses, no layers, but right now you definitely need to start kind of layering up and thinking about that outerwear as well. So these pieces that I'm going to show you, like I said, they're all classic, they're all timeless and I think they're actually really good for kind of all different kind of body shapes as well so like I said some of them are going to be old some of them are going to be new so if they are old I will be finding similar and linking them down below so you can still kind of shop it because a lot of the pieces I'm going to show you like I said are very easy to kind of get your hands on and pieces that everyone would love in their wardrobe so I'm going to get straight into this video okay so number one I'm going to start with what I'm wearing and this is the sweater vest I know I kind of said that I'm not going for trends but this is kind of a trend that's been a classic. It was around last year and it's coming back this year and I know it will stay. It is such a good kind of way to layer and especially in autumn when you don't really wanna wear like a big thick jumper, the sweater vest is perfect for it. So like I said, it is on trend. However, I feel like it's pretty kind of minimal and classic that you can layer it up and style so many different ways. So I've got this one from h and I'll come in close so you can see it. And it's got this kind of granddad knit vibe going with it so did feature this in my latest H&M haul and then I saw it came back in stock so I will link it down below and I found a few similar online at the minute because I know they're kind of high in demand so you can get this in so many different colors as you can see I've obviously got the cream one and I've got this really oversized because I think it's great for layering and especially like I said before with the autumn it's kind of cold right now it's kind of going into the new season I feel like here in the UK it's started to drop the temperatures and you need to kind of start layering so so as you can see, the way I've styled it today, I've just got it over a snake print shirt. This was featured in my latest Zara haul and I've just been wearing it to death because I like the way you can kind of dress it up and then as you can see, I've just laid it for a really kind of dress down look with my leather leggings. So definitely I think a staple in your wardrobe this autumn and also winter and probably next year to come is going to be a sweater vest. So number two is a shirt. Now I know I mentioned this before, which is the one I'm wearing, this snake print, and snake print is very in right now. It was in last year, it's in again this year, and it's always gonna be kind of coming in. Like it is kind of a trend piece, however, all these kind of prints always come in year on year because they're great to mix with neutrals. Like I've done it today, I've obviously layered it with just kind of like a block cream on top to break it up. But again, with these colors going through it, they're still the neutral palettes, they match with a lot. So shirts like this are great, and I'll link a few down below for you so you can kind of get your hands on this print. However, I really like just kind of a simple, plain shirt to create a minimal look, and you can always style this in so many different ways. It's timeless, it's classic, everyone needs a shirt in their wardrobe. Now I've already shown you the one I'm wearing which is always kind of having like a print shirt in your wardrobe to kind of clash with different things and kind of style with neutrals and just give it a little extra of a pop to your outfit but you can never go wrong with a simple shirt and this is just a perfect staple piece to add to a capsule wardrobe. So I've got this white one from H&M and it's got this pocket here. I've worn this so many times already and I feel like you just can't go wrong with a good white shirt. And then I also have this one, which is kind of like an oversized one from Zara, which was featured in my haul. And it's this called oversized poplin shirt. So I've got the blue and I've got the white and then I've obviously got this kind of printed one. And these are just great, like I said, to kind of lay it under the vest. I've worn this with the blue underneath as well, which really kind 
kind of works with the different kind of colours. And also this white one, you can layer loads of things on top as well. But when I say layer, you can also kind of just wear this simply on its own, a pair of jeans, a leather leggings, and just have a really kind of simple classic look and I feel like sometimes less is just more so definitely just like a simple white shirt styled in different ways and it's just your perfect staple item to have okay number three is kind of another obvious which is a t-shirt so I feel like you might be eye rolling and thinking well of course you need a t-shirt in your wardrobe but honestly a good tee is a good staple piece and especially in autumn I wear this a lot just with some jeans put a blazer over the top you're good to go and like I said before less is more so definitely invest in a good t-shirt this one is actually from Monkey and it has these shoulder pads in it which I love which gives that kind of like boxy feel to it and it just looks a little bit more expensive so this is obviously just a normal white tee but then I also have in my wardrobe these ones which are the sleeveless shoulder pad tees and again they are very in right now and I feel like they're going to stick around because they just give it that little extra something than a normal tee would obviously I love a normal t-shirt but I think these just give it a little something extra and I kind of like that boxy look it just kind of elevates the outfit if you're just wearing a t-shirt and jeans it just works and it's actually really easy to layer a blazer over these so definitely feel like a t-shirt is a must and especially in autumn if you don't really want to wear something kind of thick or heavy these are perfect to just kind of have and layer over the top and number four I feel like I keep doing it on my hand like I'm a child when you have to count it down but this is just the way I'm doing it so number four is is a good jumper obviously it's getting a little bit cooler now so definitely a good jumper in your wardrobe I'm sure you might have a few you might invest in a few different colors but right now I don't really want to be wearing a big thick heavy jumper I find like these kind of lighter ones that are a little bit thinner work really well and then you can also obviously put a coat or a jacket or a blazer over the top so it doesn't kind of bulk it out right now you can kind of get away with these sort of thinner knits so this one I actually featured in my H&M haul absolutely love it if I come in close you can see it's got these pearl details here this is what I love about a knit obviously it gives your outfit that texture and it kind of breaks it up so even just this simply put with some jeans just looks really effortless and then I also recently got this one from Zara which I love it's this kind of polo effect and like I said I'm not really going to be going on about trends however a polo jumper right now is very in it is very key and I think it just makes a really good staple piece in your wardrobe I love love the kind of like button details on this one and the color of it so definitely also with your capsule wardrobe you kind of want to make the colors flow and neutrals are very much the way to go with your kind of autumn and winter seasons so as you can see from the pieces I've been showing you I've been having creams camels beiges and then you know that you can kind of mix them and match them with a lot of different pieces okay so number five is a jumper dress honestly i feel like out of this whole kind of capsule collection of an autumn wardrobe this is probably one of the key pieces because i find that i just live in a jumper dress especially with the autumn if you can kind of still get your legs out with it being a little warmer this is just an outfit in itself and it's so perfect to just whack on they always look so good and i feel like you can get so many different online right now and in the shops but I recently got this one from Topshop and I also have one last year from Topshop which is a roll neck I wore it to death I'm going to be wearing it again this season but I also wanted to get one that obviously wasn't a roll neck and just sort of had this crew neck to it I just think this looks so lush and honestly with a jumper dress you can really go to town with how you style it you could put a belt around this and kind of cinch in the waist you can wear it just loose effortless with a big like chunky boot I really like wearing and kind of over the knee boots like high knee boots with them I think that is just kind of like my go-to look and obviously with this you can put a coat over the top you can layer it you can honestly like I said style it so many different ways so I think a jumper dress is just so key I just love them and especially right now you can still kind of get the advantage of getting your legs out so this is like a really perfect piece to have okay so number six if you watch my H&M haul you would have seen this little baby and I again have been wearing this a lot so I feel like I needed to feature this and especially just the whole kind of vibe of midi dresses right now they are so in they always have been for the past few years and I really don't think they're ever going to kind of go out of date I absolutely love them and again it's a piece that you can really kind of style in different ways I feel like I'm saying that a lot but with this capsule collection that is obviously kind of the meaning of this with staple pieces you can just style it how you want and you can kind of tailor it to obviously your own look so for me I love the fact that prints are 
in. I went for this leopard print one. I thought I would show you this one as well because this is kind of obviously more of a simple color. Like I said, this is kind of going again in with the theme of the neutrals, this kind of creamy beige color. I've again been wearing this a lot. I think just having a midi dress like this, which is really kind of minimal, is a good way to elevate it and kind of style it up again in so many different ways. But I just kind of like that minimal, effortless, again, less is more look. And something like this is just perfect. So this one's from Revolve and it has these little slits here as well, which kind of breaks it up and gives it that little sexy vibe if you want to kind of wear it in the evening with some heels. Okay, and number seven is probably... The key piece that you need in your autumn wardrobe. Blazers are the one. Blazers are the item that you just need in your wardrobe. And when I say need, it's because they are honestly the biggest staple that you can have for your autumn wardrobe. They are just so timeless and classy. I absolutely love them. And I'm sure you've probably seen these around for a while now and how people kind of style them in different ways. I've got a few in my wardrobe just because I feel like blazers are a must and you kind of just can switch between different colors and different kind of styles. I love kind of the boxy style that it has to it. So this one is actually from Zara last year and it has the shoulder pads in here the black button here and then also on the sides and I actually went quite oversized with this and I also have this kind of camel beige one from H&M which I featured in my haul as well and I think this color also obviously will match with so many different things a little bit more lightweight whereas I feel like this is a little bit more of a thicker material so it's good to kind of have a few different ones that you can mix between so I have this one from H&M which was featured in my haul and then I've recently gone and got this one from Zara, hence why the tag is still on, because I haven't actually worn it out yet, but I really wanted to feature it in this haul. But because it is this pleather material, it just adds that something extra. So it's that kind of blazer I feel like is gonna elevate your outfit. So it's not got the shiny material to it, it's more of a matte, which I really like. And I love this color, it's kind of like a taupe color. So I thought this would match with a lot. And then it's got the black buttons here and also again on the side. And this is pretty much the same kind of fit as my cream one. So they are both from Zara. Okay. And for number eight, the next staple piece that I feel like is perfect in a capsule autumn wardrobe is a trench coat. Now this one I actually got from ASOS. I think it was either last year or the year before. And I've realized before filming, it actually has a coffee stain on it. So clearly I need to take this to the dry cleaners. I wore it far too much, but I just wanted to show you because I feel like this is just a classic coat for the autumn season because you might not want something that's too heavy. I know going into kind of winter, the teddy coats are very much on trend and kind of those thicker, cozy ones. But for right now, you just want something that's just a little bit more lightweight, but still looks put together. And I feel like this piece is just a really, again, timeless classy piece this just kind of makes an outfit in itself i feel like so this one is last year i'm pretty sure from asos they have loads online at the minute as well and i love these kind of like tortoise shell buttons on it so i have this cream one in my wardrobe and then i also have this one which i really love and i've had this i think again for like two years so this was originally from nasty girl but i love this kind of khaki color and it's kind of like a light khaki which i love so this is great right now to kind of add a little bit of something to your wardrobe and definitely like the creams and neutrals are in and also khaki is great to kind of mix in your wardrobe as well. So again, it has the tortoise shell buttons. I found loads of similar online right now. I know Mango has a really good one. So I'll link that down below because I think it's nice to kind of have the option of a cream, which is very classic. And then this just adds a little something with the khaki. Okay, so, so piece number nine, this next staple piece, and I'm sure everyone owns a leather jacket in their wardrobe whether it be a fake leather jacket a real leather jacket it depends if you kind of want to invest in the quality i definitely feel with spending a little bit more you're investing your money because it's going to be better quality and it's going to last you longer i actually got this one last year from zara and it is real leather so it was a bit more on the pricier side like i said a leather jacket is just going to forever be in your wardrobe so it's kind of worth spending a few little extra pennies to get a good one but like i don't even really kind of need to explain myself with a leather jacket i'm sure a lot of you watching it already have one in your wardrobe and it's so easy to style and I feel like it just kind of gives your outfit that kind of like edgy 
cool girl look. You may be wearing a feminine midi dress. Put this over the top and it just kind of gives it that texture with the leather and also kind of dresses it down. Okay, so the next items I thought I would kind of move on to bottoms because I know I've shown you a lot of like shirts, t-shirts, jumpers, dresses. Obviously to wear with them you need to style it on the bottom. So I feel like my two key pieces are these ones I'm going to be showing you. So first of all it's kind of the genre of leather leggings or leather trousers. I've been wearing these for many years now. I feel like they've just never gone out of date. They'll kind of continue to always be my go-to piece. The ones I'm actually wearing, I feel like they're shedding because I've had my use out of them. I feel like these are like three years old and they're kind of telling me I need a new pair. So these are actual leather tight leggings as you saw with the way I styled it. And I think it's great to have a mix. So I have leather leggings and I also have leather trousers. So I have a few different trousers that I thought I would share with you because again, I feel like you can get your hands on loads of different ones, style in many ways, but just a general leather trouser is always my go-to and I know just so comfortable and for me, comfort is key. So these are kind of like my go-to ones, which are my black ones and I'm pretty sure these were Zara last year. Yeah, these are Zara and I got them in an extra small. So I wore these so much. They're just so easy to wear. As you can see, it kind of has an elasticated waist here and then it comes in the bottom a little bit tapered. So the length of these actually were perfect for me because I'm on the smaller side. I sometimes feel like trousers can be too long, but these other trousers are just so easy to style with loads of different things. As you can see here, the way I've styled it, it's just kind of that cool effortless look again. I also do have these ones that again, I got last year. These were Topshop and I absolutely love these. I think they look really good paired with cream. I wore it a lot with like a cream jumper and also even if you wanted to do like the cream option of a blazer. So these are last year on Topshop. I'm hoping that they do bring them back. If not, I'll try and link similar down below for you guys. Again, with kind of adding the pop of a print, I also got these ones, which are the snake print ones that I recently featured in my Zara haul again and I've been styling over on my Instagram. So I'll put a picture on the screen of how I styled them. And again, they are very much the same style style that they come in tapered here and they kind of have that loose baggy feel to them. Okay, as for the next bottom option, which I'm pretty sure on number 10 right now, is the ultimate jean. Now these have been around for years and years, they're going to be around for years and years to come. Like a jean is just a must in everyone's wardrobe. So I always go with Topshop jeans. They are just my favorite. I'm not really usually like a go-to jean girl because I find they can be a little bit uncomfortable. And especially with my shape, I'm quite petite. I've got a larger butt and obviously it's shorter legs. So it's kind of hard to find a jean that really goes with my body shape, but Topshop always nail it. I've always brought Topshop jeans. I just love them. I feel like when you kind of find a jean that fits, you just stick with it. So these are the straight leg ones. And again, I feel like straight leg just works better with my body shape, but you guys might love skinny, boyfriend fit, the mum fit, Joni fit. There's so many different, obviously, styles and types of jeans. But I thought I'd just show you kind of the classic that I have in my wardrobe, which is the straight leg ones. And again, they are just timeless. But I also love a good white jean, especially in autumn, when you kind of want to still add that little bit of lightness to your outfits. You don't want to go all black straight away, although everyone loves an all black look. I definitely love having white in my outfits. So again, these are Topshop, these are the straight leg ones, and they come in kind of like a creamy colour as well. I feel like these kind of will look great as well, even if you want to have like an evening look, you know, like nice top and jeans, a white jean is always kind of a good go-to. Okay, so that is it. That is my 10 key staple pieces that I feel make a great autumn capsule wardrobe. These pieces are timeless. You can mix and match with each other and obviously just create loads of different looks. I know I didn't kind of show any accessories or shoes because there's going to be another separate styling video for that. So make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss it because I feel like it's going to be a good one as well. We're showing how to wear different options with the outfits. Really hope you did like this first video of the stylist series. If you did, please give it a like. It's a really good indicator for me to kind of come back and do a lot more of these and obviously show you pieces that you might already have in your wardrobe and give you inspo on how to style them. So like I said, there's going to be a lot more videos to come. So I'll see you guys very soon.